Uh, do you think I, I actually have to? I, yeah. Don't they usually just reach out to you? Like, they should know who I am by now, no? No, nah, you're Kevin Farrell, not Will Farrell. <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Let's, uh, let's get down to business then. Ah. Uh. What's up, Survivor? Kevin Farrell, 25 years old. I live in Los Angeles. Well, you know, I'm, uh, I'm sure you guys are pretty tired of seeing all these videos, uh, probably hundreds of thousands. Yeah, figured. Well, I'm originally from Billerica, Massachusetts, but you know, when Callie calls, you gotta be ready to answer. After graduating the University of Massachusetts Amherst with a degree in marketing, uh, I went to Martha's Vineyard for the summer. Uh, I worked as a startup tour guide for a company called Oak Bluffs Land and Wharf Company. Went to Martha's Vineyard, yes, to avoid the call a little bit, but also to work on my screenwriting. Uh, Martha's Vineyard is home to hundreds of affluent authors, artists. I figured it was a great place to start my post-college career. From there, I went south for the winter. I went to Florida, Estero, Florida, to work as a server bartender for a very nice golf and country club. It was a, it was a great experience. I definitely went there for the free golf, but I'd say dropping my handicap five strokes is, is well worth the six months living in uh, crazy Florida. Uh, from there, I came back home to Bill Ricca, worked as a kindergartner teacher and a bartender on the side. Finally, I could no longer avoid the call from California. I moved out here on my 24th birthday, no job, no apartment, just me and my 05 Acura TL. Uh, definitely quite humbling knowing that everything you own can fit in the back of a sedan, but I'm happy to do it, and look what I have here. Amazing. Kevin Farrell, 25 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California. Happy to be here, thanks for having me. So, I came to LA to pursue my dream of screenwriting, you know, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, uh, but as much passion as I have for scripts and screenwriting, I realized quite quickly that everything isn't quite like they are in the movies, uh, literally and figuratively. Just to survive, you know, I worked in a UPS warehouse, scrubbed dishes, catered events. This was all nine long months. Uh, you know, thanks to my parents' upbringing in the town I grew up in, Bill Ricca, Mass, you know, very blue collar. Uh, I have a strong respect for hard work and just doing what needs to be done to survive. Finally, I made my way into the one place I never expected to end up, corporate America. Yep, your boy's a tech salesman. And if I can sell tech to some CEO in Silicon Valley, I can sure as heck sell a fake immunity idol, some guy from Chicago. And yeah, this is my cube. It's got a little bit of my personality in it, of course. Uh, actually, just one second. Hey, Becky. Becky, you got those expense reports from last week? Wait. Hey, Connor. Where is everybody? Is there a, must be a meeting I missed. Well, software ain't gonna sling itself. I gotta get back to work. All right, well, as you see, I had a quite exciting and adventurous video planned out for you. You know, I, I was hoping to get a, get a New Zealand bungee jump in for you, but I don't think that's gonna work. For Frodo. I had then this idea for uh, me jumping off a cliff into an Australian mermaid pool. Want to do that? Ah! Wasn't in the budget, you know. And then I wanted to show you how much I loved camping and going out in the in the outdoors and whatever's on your back is what you have, you know. I, I wanted to show you something along those lines, but. Everything's closed. So, you're going to have to deal with my high school lacrosse records, All-American, 
championships. Now, what's that? Illegal, right? You're coming from behind like that? Jeez, oh, come on! Yeah. Yeah. Just things I like to check from, I don't know, a daily basis, every hour or so, just to make sure my records are still alive. Uh, so, this is what you're stuck with. Enjoy. I love Survivor. You know, I can remember. Uh, closing my eyes, hiding in the closet as Jeff read off Ethan's name in one of the first seasons as the winner, you know. Uh, I was born to play, excuse me, not just to play, but to be the ultimate survivor. You know, I've done it my whole life. Now I just want to add the title. I'd bring a personality never before seen on the show. Am I a villain? Am I a hero? What's the difference? It all matters is how far you get in the show. I can be a chameleon. I'll blend in when I have to. I'll stand out when I need to. You know, at the end of the day, if Jeff tells me my tribe has spoken and my torch goes out, it's not a bad consolation prize. Not many people get that honor, to be honest. And I'm, I'm looking excited. I, I, I'm, I'm excited, I'm ready to go. I mean, come on, and me on the beach in my underwear the whole time. <laughs> this is like, people are gonna go nuts. I thank you for the consideration, and I hope you guys have another legendary season. My roommate's mom, she's sending them care packages of Omaha Steaks. My mom, get a text from her, hey, Survivor's looking for cast members, go for it. Say, mom, I'm starving here in this pandemic. What does she respond with? Just helping you train for Survivor. Fair point.